Tonight, a King George man is behind bars and police believe he could be linked to the disappearance of Megan Metzger, who is believed to be in danger. 10 News reporter Magdala Lassan joins us live in Pamplin with what she's learned about the team. Magdala. Rachel, I'm in Pamplin in Appomattox County. I've been here since about 10 o'clock this morning. I showed 15 people Megan Metzger's picture. Some people say they don't know her at all. Others say she looks familiar and that they've seen her around. Here's a picture of Megan. State police say Megan was last heard from on Tuesday. Investigators are still working to verify where was she last seen. They say she's never stayed in one place very long. She's lived with friends and acquaintances, but Pamplin has been the consistent home for her. State police are also focusing their investigation on the connection to Megan and the 2004 white four door Mazda that was found yesterday in Westmoreland County. It's registered to Megan. Police say 19 year old Juan Benavidez set the car on fire. He's been charged with arson. Police say he was arrested in just his underwear and they also say he and Megan are acquaintances. Here in Pamplin, some neighbors we've spoken to say they know Megan's mom and called her Trish. Online records show a house on Pecan Street belongs to Patricia C. Metzger, who we're told is Megan's mother. We knocked on the door and no one answered. Police say Megan's disappearance is being investigated as an abduction. State police and other local authorities are looking for leads and tips that could help find her. Anyone with information on Megan's whereabouts or the car is asked to call state police at pound 77 or 804-553-3445. Again, that number is 804-553-3445. Live in Pamplin, Magdala Lusant, 10 News, working for you.